What's up guys, my name is Sonny. I'm a contributor here at RowForge and today I'm gonna to be walking you through an actual workout in Ignite the Forge part two. Let's get to it. All right, recapping from last video, we wanna press the connect button on our Concept2 console and then search, check that the IDs match. So now our workout is loaded into the app. If you scroll through this column on the right, you'll see exactly what you're gonna be doing. Each row is gonna be one of three types of instructions. The two different types of intervals are average watt targets and sprints. For the average watt target, you're just trying to maintain your wattage, which you can see right there for a set distance of, in this case, 900 meters. And then the other type is a sprint, which is basically just get through these next 100 meters as fast as you can. Then you have a 30 second rest interval, which you can take a break. And then the cycle repeats with different average watt targets and different sprint distances. Once I take my first stroke, the app is going to start populating the screen with the data. First, we have our time. We have our 500 meter split, strokes per minute, average wattage, and the distance we've covered. We also have a heart rate monitor, but you'll need an external device that you connect to the concept to in order to track that. You wanna keep your average wattage within the white range. If you're red, you need to pick up the pace. And if you're green, you need to slow down a little bit. Remember, we're not trying to blow it out of the water. We're trying to maintain the efficiency of this workout. So now we're in our sprint interval. Now we can maintain an average wattage that we want. We don't care if it's green. We're trying to get through this distance as quickly as we can. So the higher the average wattage, the better. RowForge has a variety of other stats that you can take a look at. If you press the gear icon on one of the tabs on the left, then you'll get to see all of them and select the ones that you want to see in real time. If you press the panel in the top right corner, you'll be able to see a whole new list of stats that weren't previously available. Each of them have their own gear icon, which allows you to change which ones you see in this list. Once you've finished your last interval and you're done with the workout, you'll reach the workout complete screen and you'll be rewarded with one general badge for working out that day and another badge for the specific workout that you completed. If you wanna stop a workout without completing it, but you still want your data saved, do not press the leave workout button. Instead, press the menu button on the Concept2 console and what data you have in progress will be saved. And with that, we have completed a workout and we are done with Ignite the Forge part two. We hope you found these videos helpful in getting you started on RowForge. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.